Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler as China. So, what's going on? Well, first things first, uh, if you missed it, um, had a live stream over the weekend, on Saturday. So, before I even get into this, this match, um, you might want to go back and watch that. Um, it was about, uh, about two hours. I think it was two hours and one second or something like that, or one hour and 40 some odd minutes, I can't remember which, um, where we did some more work on our our wall, also with uh, some allies as well. Finally tweaked and modified some things, which reminds me, did, oh, they're gone. Perfect, okay. So we also tweaked and modified some things with our allies. So, with all that in mind, let's get at it, shall we? So, first things first, um, in the live stream, we finally, and I figured out a good way, to get aircraft over to our allies. So, at this moment, we got, uh, on pretty much on all our allies, we've got a Strato Tanker, uh, four Thunder Chiefs, and two Interceptor Aircraft for our African allies. For our Haitian allies, which are our new allies, uh, mind you, we've got the same thing. Uh, four Thunder Chiefs, a Strato Tanker, two Interceptors, but we've also landed a significant amount more of, uh, of ground units. I think I've got uh, two attack subs, uh, three, four, five, six, seven uh, cruisers, or destroyers, sorry. And then a, I think it's about uh, 16 ground units. And basically it's just to kind of help them secure, and just in case Haiti decides to get a little, uh, get a little lippy. Also, we have fortif help fortify our, our western border just a little bit more. We position troops internally to the river over there and here. Um, the next step is actually to place our anti-missile system or anti-aircraft systems. So we're not building anything anymore because we're done. Uh, we are done with our SAMs and all that stuff. So gonna pick you here we go so the nike hercules is our primary sam right right now also the other primary sam we have is the hqs here so with that in mind we're gonna get these guys situated first Okay. Now there's not many of them, I know. But that is actually on purpose. Uh, the Hercules, there's a couple of reasons for that. The first one is because of the range. It's 165. Now, they're not as strong as our other uh, surface air missiles. But if you look, 165 range is about this far. It's 11 hexes. So, long story short, <laughs> we got nothing to worry about. Pretty much any aircraft gets close to this border will get engaged with how we're going to place these Hercules. Um, each one's going to be a minimum of about five to six away, except for down here. Um, kind of how we space these guys out is going to be a little difficult. Uh, Got some more research breakthroughs. Mexico changed its flag. Okay, military goods. More diplomatic offers. Yeah, we'll just keep buying military goods. I don't mind. Uh, no research as of yet. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Now, we do have... Uh, A little sip of my coffee there. Um, some new arrangements, for example. So I'm going to pause real quick. Um, if you missed the live stream, obviously, then this might come to a bit of a surprise. But so we have Haiti as a new ally. Uh, we now have a transit treaty with Greece and with Turkey. No, sorry, with Turkey. Uh, we have a transit treaty with uh, Algeria uh, and Mali. Uh, we also have a non-aggression treaty as well um, with a few countries like Bulgaria here, for example. Um, oh. 
And so we have non-aggression, mutual defense, criminal extradition. We have everything but basically an ally, uh, alliance. Uh, we have we have air transit and uh, sea transit, which was obviously a big thing for us. Here with the uh, the Turks, we have the same thing. Um, everything pretty much except for a um, uh, an alliance as well. Like I said, I don't want alliances with these guys because later on down the road, I am going to invade them. Um, maybe. Um, one of the big problems I've been having as of late is the fact that people in these countries are now also, like, they like us, but they also have 100% war justification for us. Um, so theoretically, if we were to break any of our treaties, there could be a war. It's highly unlikely, but I've never had the game go to war with me for breaking alliances, but at the same time, I, it's, I have not had it not do it, so. It's definitely one of those moments where it's like, I can do it, I know I can, but we'll I'll have to see, right? We might want those buffer, these buffer states still, just to be on the safe side. So we have our alliances with these guys, but nothing down here. Uh, Sierra Leone and yeah, military goods. Uh, one of the things I've been trying to look at and to figure out is when the Americans are going to finally fucking get into the advanced jet age. Um, I can't seem to get there <laughs> with them. Uh, it's as if on purpose, the AI is now uh, basically stopping us and trying to halt us a little bit because we were utilizing the Americans and the Russians so much at the beginning of the game. Oh, uh, coup d'etat in Panama. We're going to support that. Hey, Panama. How you doing? I bet you like it. You do like us. Diplomatic offer. I would like air transit. Uh, sea transit. A non-aggression pact. Um, free for labor force. Free trade. Um... Criminal extradition. Government upheaval. Peru. Hey, hey, Peru. How you doing, buddies? Wow, people are getting overthrown like crazy. Okay, Peru, you're right here, if I'm not mistaken, right? You are. And a lady is in power here. Well, I'm pretty good with the ladies, so non aggression pact. I want air transit, sea transit. Um, criminal extradition, free trade, free fall labor force. What I'm basically doing is, these countries that like us so much, if we can get our treaties in with them, quick and easy, theoretically, what we could do with these uh, is actually build up our treaty integrity. The higher our treaty integrity, the better. Um, other countries will think of us, uh, which is obviously very important. Um, our treaty integrity is sitting at... Uh, two, 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 two. There it is. 100%. Oh, that's them. That's the Americans. Our treaty integrity is sitting at 68%. So... We're getting there. One percentage away. Diplomatic offer, petroleum, sure. What sometimes you have to do is let some of these older uh, treaties go through and kind of let them go for a long time. Okay. So, um, the HQ2Js have a range of 57 kph. 
So 57 kph is, we'll say, 3 hexes. So, these guys we don't want to sacrifice them so much, as we're going to be utilizing them closer to the front lines. So, we're going to be using them mostly in locations that we know are going to be problems. So, like right there, for example. There. Because the Hercules are all going to be covering these spots as well. It's one of the, the good things about all this. So these are going to be our kind of like our our frontline surface air missile units. Cheap, reliable, I might add. But cheap nonetheless. Obviously, these are also going to be units that we can withdraw or even push forward if we uh, if we need to. And we're just going to stop there. Who got independence? Guiana. Well, we'll support you. Some new alliances. Wait, Guiana's down here, isn't it? Yeah, you're not a fan of us right now, though. Probably because you were a French colony. The French don't like us. Uh, you want to buy industrial goods? Sure. We're just going to place these missiles. Let them all set into position first. Perfect. So now we have... Oh, we're going to put one more there. in that one. So now we have a bit of a this little missile defense system for aircraft. Now it's not the biggest one or the best one, but now comes our second line of defense. Now, this one is not going to be the biggest, mind you. But like I said, the Nike Hercules missiles are what's going to be the big boys. It's going to be their job to do the majority of the lifting for our air, our, um, our air defense. These guys are just here to make sure everything's copacetic. I think they're all good to go. Okay. Oh, no. And scroll all the way to the bottom. And here our Nike, uh, Nike Hercules are. These things are just going to cause just mayhem and destruction on the other team. Like on the other country's side, so no matter what. Also, one of the more humorous parts is these guys are going to be linked in with our ground um, missile systems, which are going to be basically tasked with launching basically missiles at uh, ground targets, which would be a priority target, obviously, for any any enemy air force in Europe. Here we go! Come on, guys. Kind of wish there was a quick little filter button. Oh, I'm grabbing some SA-2s. Eh. That's no big deal. Damn, these guys are fucking fast.
you and you. I want you to go to that location. Okay, so with a range of 165, they just need to be 11 points within the border. With, they're going to be a little closer, actually. They're going to be like, like that. First batch is actually all going to be with significant number of these guys. I'm just going to give them a minute to reposition themselves here. Nixon's the 37th president of the U.S. Blah, blah, blah. Buying petroleum, industrial goods. Ooh, who spy Belgium? Okay, a whole bunch of research. A whole bunch of new alliances. Let's get some more air defense positioned here. I'm going to place some more. Jesus Christ, there are so many. Oh, misclicked. The best part is, because my units are so spread out, they also create like a bit of a, a bubble effect. I don't remember building this many, to be 100% honest. Uh, I'm kind of lost as to what I've done up here. Uh, Greece and Brazil want to sell me military goods. Fun. I'm not too worried about this area, to be honest with you, because we're going to be placing a lot of... Like, I mean, this is going to be our na main naval force. So it's going to be taking care of most of the stuff there, but I mean, if, the, uh, if by chance an Amer the Americans bring an aircraft carrier in there, It'll be fucked up pretty, pretty quick. Um, since we have a couple extra ones, I'm going to move them a little closer. I have like a, not a big first line defense, but have a couple of them in there. I mean, they can't defend themselves in any form or fashion. Um, more science complete, more transports, more alliances, Jesus. 
Wait, what the hell is this? Oh. Wait, Haiti brought prop-driven aircraft to my country? How the hell... How the hell did you do that? I can't even send... Why would you even want troops in my territory is the question. I want mine there to... I want my guys in your territory so I can... Kind of put a little pressure on the U.S. Why would you want your guys in my country is the question. Interesting. Um... Hmm. Do we have one there? We do. Ah, oh, right there. Perfect. Last one. Right there. Okay, so that's the end of this episode. We have officially designed, um, minus obviously ground forces, or missiles, or missile units. Um, that'll probably be the next batch, and then we're going to be done our western defense wall. Um, I'm not too worried like about the the peninsula up here or anything up here really. Um, I think like the Bulgaria is kind of fucking destroyer up there um but yeah i'm really not too worried about finland um finland yeah it doesn't like us but i mean when i bring up the information i mean by the time they would be able to push in far enough we'd already have the troops here in leningrad this military not this military, this base here already active and there's more troops probably in this base alone than there is in all of finland so we just had to activate this Military facility, yeah, there's 134 units in this military base alone. So, I'm not too worried. I mean, worst case scenario, if, you know, they're outgunned just from sheer numbers. I mean, I've got, I think, a base here that's got more people. Nope. But this one. Oh, I thought I had troops up there. Oh, well, there's 203 there, so... Worst case scenario, I mean, I've got about 400 units between Moscow and Leningrad, so... I can't see that being much of a... much of a problem if Finland were to get aggressive with us. So, that is this episode. Let's pause all this here. New design complete. Hormone Alliance. Blah, blah, blah. No big deal. I do wish I could somehow get the Dominican Republic here to attack Haiti. But, uh, don't think it's going to happen. So, until next time, see you guys on the battlefield.